welcome to a new chapter in the Visio training modules. Um, this is under design. This is how to improve your shape layouts and change the colors and add patterns and things like that. And the good news is these are quite pissy little videos, so they're a couple of minutes each, and I'll do one in each individual section. So first thing we're going to start with is you need a new drawing, uh, sorry, new drawing, and we're going to click on blank drawing, metric, create. And then I'm going to search for some shapes, and I want general, so I want basic shapes. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the orientation of the page. I'm going to make it into landscape. There we go. And what I need you to do is... Oh, apologies. This will teach me to mess around with things in whilst I'm recording. Um, I want you to drag some shapes onto your page in a very messy fashion. And they're not designed to be in any particular order. And we're going to do a bounding box, which is Control and left click. And we're going to select these four. Now, it's taken three. And I'm going to go onto the Home tab and click on under Arrange. You've got Align, so I can auto align, align left, align center, align right, align top, align middle, align bottom. But I think we need to pull. Let me move that one up, and let's do another bounding box. Get them all in, and we go through it again. Auto align. And also a line is designed so they have straightened connectors. So if I go on to connector, there, back onto pointer tool, I'm going to then rebound them. Also a line, so that's as straight as they can get. A line left, very messy. A line center again. A line right. A line top, which means that the top line of all the shapes is in order. Then we've got the middles, and we've got a line bottom. So I'm going to go on to auto align. And if I move this connector to there, does it for me? So the idea is that you will have perfectly straight connectors. Um, once again, the best way to do this is to practice it um, and to play around with the different options that you've got. So I think we should go on and do another page. And this time we're going to do a heptagon. We're going to do some of the weirder shapes. And we're going to put them in a bounding box. I just realized I'm not particularly original at doing this. Right then, control, left click. Stuck them in a bounding box. I'm going to auto align them. And let's try a line left. Can you see the difference? Uh, top, middle, and bottom. And the can's just behind. We're going to leave it on the bottom. And then we're going to run a connector through. Now, because these are 2D shapes, the connectors work very differently. Not particularly pleasant, so I'm going to reband that, and I'm going to try auto-align, and it prefers that. To the left, to the center, to the right, to the top, to the middle, to the bottom. The idea is that it will pull shapes together for you. Um, at this point, I would suggest that you play around with it, um, because each shape acts differently, whether it's a 1D shape or a 2D shape. Um, let's open a new page and find something more shapes. Uh, business process. Shall we have... No, not business process. Let's go on to calendar shapes. Now, once again, it's thinking about it, and it comes in. So, see, this is vast, and this is where you can put your month in and configure it. I'm just going to click on OK, and I'm going to make it smaller. 
there. I'm going to move it up here. And I'm going to go on to my basic shapes. There. I'm going to do a bounding box. I'm going to move this down so it doesn't quite hit over the line. Bounding box over it. Go on to a line. Auto align. Left align. Center. Right. Top. Middle. And bottom. This is really quite conceptual. Um, that until you understand how it pulls top, middle, and bottom, left, right, and center, and what pivot points it uses, it will it will remain so. The other thing that you notice that the further the the item that's to the left acts as the anchor, and so this will never really move. This will always be everything else pivots off of this. So this and this are determined by the calendar shape. Um, I'm going to leave that video here um, and let you get on and practice. And the more you do of this, the better you become. Okay, thank you.